I'm all right. I'm all right. Man, I appreciate you letting me chop it up with you. For anybody who might be stuck under a rock, bro, let the people know exactly what your name is and where you're from. You know, I hear a lot about Maywood, bro. What's going on out there? You know, a lot of people, I'm not sure if a lot of people know, but I consider Maywood like Chicago, bro. Right. It seems like it's a lot of the same shit that's going on out here, going on out there. How's it growing up out there, bro? I be seeing it, bro, because a lot of people be telling me about Maywood and like some of this shit going on. A lot of people be like it's a suburban town, but when I got out there and I kind of chill for a little while, I seen some of the same things going on. I want to ask you something, bro. Uh, it seems like the violence is out there too, bro. Uh, why the people not united out there? Man, shit, man, no money, man. It's a lot of shit fucked up out here. Like, even our, our community, we ain't got no grocery store. We gotta go, we gotta travel to a whole other community or somewhere else. Just, you know what I'm saying? Five groceries. It's just, there's a lot of fucked up shit out here, man. God damn it, shit. They just need to start opening up stores and shit. It's all, you know what I'm saying? Come on, start making money. You know what I'm they close everything down. Right. Is it safe for young people, though? Because I hear a lot of... I, you know, I, I, somebody actually told me it'd be a lot of robberies and shit out there. Yeah, I mean, shit. There'd be a lot of shit going on. You know, shit. Really, you know what I'm saying? I got to take home and shit and try to get some money. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, do you think the violence will ever slow down? What's one of the reasons these young people are always angry and shooting each other? I always ask people that. Some people be like, lack of opportunities, but they don't really get deep enough with me, bro. In your perspective, why do you think all the shorties out here killing each other? Because they, they really ain't got no real leaders to really look up to, shit. All the, everybody that they looking up to, they either, you know what I'm saying, they out here in these streets doing bad, you know, shit, locked up or in jail. That's what they look up to. Right, I see a lot of that. Do you think the money, because a lot of people tell me it ain't a lot of opportunities, it ain't a lot of money. So I'm going to give you a proposition. I want to know, let's say, for instance, the government decided to get every household $25,000. Would that stop the violence of this problem bigger than money? Shit, I mean, sure should be, you know what I'm saying, about money, but a lot of the shit that be going on be already, you know what I'm saying, street beef and whatever they got going on. I mean, I said... I don't know, probably if, if they do, you know, but a lot of, a lot of people have already set a step up in their name, you know. Wow. Right. You know what I'm saying, change the motherfucking mindset, how they think. Right. Is it a must that you join a gang nowadays as a young dude? Can you be your own man out here, bro? I mean, yeah, you can you be your own man. All you got to do is just, you know, stay away from, you know what I'm saying, the uh, relatives and that shit and, you know, go to school, get you a job, take you a trade, you know what I'm saying, just stay out the way. And don't even feed it to all that extra shit because that's what a lot of people do. Yeah. And that's what get them in a bad situation. Right. How do you feel about social media, bro? Do you think that's a good thing or a bad thing? Because I hear some people say it's a good tool to promote themselves and market themselves. I also hear people say um, you can lose your life fucking with it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's good to promote yourself, you know what I'm saying? Music-wise, business-wise, a lot of the stuff that people don't know about that shit, they use social media enough. Or, you know what I'm saying? Or expose somebody, you know, and that shit come back on my Right. If somebody ever dish you on social media, would you respond back on social media? No, I wouldn't respond because, you know, you know what I'm saying? A lot of shit don't even need to respond back to it. Just, you know what I'm saying? Other people think, you know what I'm saying? They, they got the upper hand or whatever it is, what it is. You know, just, just stay fucking on the money in your family. That's the only thing that really matters. Right. Bro, give me some insight on this upcoming artist shit, bro. I, I I be hearing crazy tales about upcoming artists having to pay everything, bro. Having to pay for plane tickets to go out of town, paying for promotion, getting scammed by janky promoters. Is this rap shit really fool, bro? Uh, say that again. I can't Is this rap shit really fool, fool? Because people tell me, man, this rap shit fool, fool, bro. These niggas ain't really your friends. It's a whole bunch of fake shit going on. Have you seen any of that? Yeah, there'd be a lot of that going on, man. You know, shit. A lot of people, they, it's a lot of shit in this shit they ain't even gonna tell you about this rap shit, man. But you, when you get into it, then you start, you start with the people, a lot of. 
I sure be seeing that shit. I know you got a uh, artist by the name uh, Yay Yay White from out there. You uh, rec- is that name recognizable to you? Yeah, I, I heard it. Right? Is the city uh, is is the city behind him out there? Right. What new projects you got coming out, bro? What can the people check out from you? Uh, so I got work on the beach tape right now. Uh, me and my uh, cousin, eighteen uh, old, called Block Brothers. Uh. Got a couple, couple more things you know to do on that. Then we're gonna be dropping that. Then I got another mixtape after that coming out called called Back in the Truck. Uh. So you, what's the production you gonna have? You gonna have some uh, features and shit on there? Bro, you know, you say you got a project coming. You got rappers in this shit. They be wanting to drop projects. They be wanting to drop mixtapes. They always asking me, Truth, what's some of the shit I got to do to drop a project? You got two projects that's ready to drop in the future. What's some of the things you did to get your shit together? Was it get all your beats together? Make sure you got a visual, pay for a high price feature? What's some of the things an artist should do if he trying to jump in his lane? You know we can't get you out of here. Kind of, kind of purge on that a little bit because a lot of people don't understand the meaning of what you just said. You got to spend money to make money. Yeah, I mean, like the most is all. I mean, just everything. Like everything that you really do, you got to pay for. It, you know what I'm saying? Like majority of everything. And they really not free. <laughs> That's a real shit. What's some of the artists shouldn't do coming in this shit, bro? What's some of the mistakes you made? What's some of the mistakes you be seeing artists is making that you want to tell an upcoming artist not to do? Don't, don't sign, man. Just everything that you do, you know what I'm saying? Make sure it's in your name. Don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't sign the low party. Mm. Is that important just to do it independent? You say you telling me a record label deal not a good thing? You saying the, the signing the contract is not a good thing? Just keep it independent? Most likely, it all depends on how the contract laid out. I mean, you best to stay independent, though. Right. That's how you see everything coming to you. Right. That's real shit, bro. The people want to get up with you, big homie. Somebody want to sign you to a label, bro. They want to give you a bag and try to convince you to sign with their label and don't do it independent. Where can they find you at on the social media sites, bro? Twitter, same thing? John O'Santana on every media site. Uh, what about what about SoundCloud? SoundCloud. You got one of them? Yeah, John Uh, okay. You What about your YouTube channel? We can come check out some of your music on YouTube? Yeah, BMG Entertainment. Uh, I appreciate that, bro. I want to ask you one more thing, man. If an artist wants to get up with you, man, you, you willing to do features with other artists? Yeah, I'm ready to do features with other artists. Man, love, bro. I appreciate you coming through. Let me chop it up with you, bro. Yeah, 